study the straight punch dodge together with the body lock clinch and the body lock takedown. So we will be on our ready stances, okay? And then my partner will fire a straight punch. Okay, we will not worry about his stance. We just worry about not giving a chance for the second punch. You can just focus on his hands when it comes down to deciding which side to lean your head, which legs to step in. Okay, so I wanna go to the safe side, which is this one here. Shoot him for the clinch, put him down on the ground. And control him on the ground here. Watch, when you're here, on your ready stance, measuring distance, and he throws a punch, if you lean to the wrong direction, look what might happen. Leaning to the wrong direction, second punch, knee strikes, elbow strikes, everything. When you lean to the proper direction, look, you're safe here, and you shoot in for the clinch. So, the proper, pro proper direction is always away from the second punch. It's always to the back of his hand. So if I am here, he fires, that's the direction. He fires the other hand, that's the direction. The best way for you to figure out which leg to shoot in, you wanna keep it simple at the beginning, okay? You can create a rule for yourself in a way that you always fall on top of him, you can always use his body as caution, you're always in good balance. So you do this, look, the punch comes. If you know you need to lean away from the second punch, when you lean here, you need to stand for balance. If the leg is busy keeping your balance, the other one shoots in, and it always goes like that. You're here, he throws the other punch. You need to lean your head, step for balance. The other leg shoots in. See, look, I am not concerned about his stance. I'll just be concerned about his hand strikes for now. Okay, so our next drill is to learn how to dodge straight punch, get inside on the body lock clinch, okay? So, how to prepare my ready stance? Half step to the side, half step back with my strong leg, the back hand cover, the leading hand covers, but also measure distance. I'll tell my partner, for now, just throw jabs. This way, I always know which hand he's about to throw. It's the leading hand, so I can prepare my clinch. So he will fire, I'll step to the side, okay? Don't bother about deviating his punch for now. Let's keep it simple. Measure, he throws the punch, lead to the side. Little step, keeping the shield covering my jaw. The legs keeping my balance. The other one steps in for the clinch. Ear on his chest, head up, pulling his hip in, he's off balance. Now I wanna use his body as caution. So I need to walk to the opposite side of my head and block his knee. One more thing, drive when your partner is off balance. Make sure not to land on top of his chest. Post your hands for balance. You must step back and post your hands. Look, he's off balance, step back and post. Then, chest to chest, hug the shoulder, block the legs. That's the very best way for you to clinch and to take down to keep it simple and effective, okay? So, now I'll tell my partner to fire the back hand. I always know which hand is coming. Step to the side, shield covered. The legs keeping my balance. Has to be the other one to go with. My head up, ear on his chest. I know I'll move to the opposite side of my head. If I make a mistake, look. To the side of my head when I throw him, hit my head on the ground. The other side, <clears throat> makes more sense, let's keep it simple. Drive, he's off balance. Falling, 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 pose. And then chest to chest, and block his leg. One more time. I'll tell my partner now to fire one hand at a time. On the second punch, I'll clinch, look. So, leading hand, move back, back hand, 
This way, I will learn very well which side to go for. Now, take down. Opposite side of my head is off balance. Block, drive. Chest to chest, blocking his legs. 